Question 7C asks, what is the probability that the sample average will be within 1.6 standard errors of the population mean u? And we're given these parameters. The population mean is 67.6. Population standard deviation is 4.2. And the sample sizes that we're looking at are of uh, are 51. So I think the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and calculate the standard error. And you can do that using this standard error formula. Note that there are two different formulas for the standard error, and this is the one we want to use for this problem. So we're just going to plug in 4.2 for sigma, 51 for n. So 4.2 over root 51, and this gives you 0 0.588. And with this information, we can say that x bar, the sample average, is normally distributed with a mean of 67.6 and a standard error of 0 0.588. The mean is 67.6 because the population mean was 67.6. Standard error is 0.588 because that's what we just calculated. And it's normal because the sample size is greater than or equal to 30. So whenever this condition is met, you'll have that the distribution of x bar is normal. So now the question is, what is the probability that the sample average will be within 1.6 standard errors of mu, 67.6? So this is uh, what we're looking for. And you can think of that number is represented by this expression. This number is represented by this expression. And we can rewrite this entire expression if we plug in 67.6 for mu and 0 0.588 for the standard error. This becomes the probability that x bar is between 66.659 and 68.541. And this we can rewrite as 1 minus 2 times the probability that x bar it's greater than 68.541. So this works because this tail probability and this tail probability are the same because uh, this distance is, and this distance are the same and the curve is symmetric. So the two tail probabilities will be the same. If you ignore the 1 minus 2 and just think about the uh, probability that x bar is greater than 68.541, that would be this tail probability. So 1 minus this probability minus this probability will give you the red part. And that's exactly what this expression says. You can find this probability using the normal calculator. There's your mean. There's your standard error. Use greater than as the inequality. And then plug into 68.541.